Hi all, my name is Andre Miranda, and I'm here today to make a very short introduction to the Note Flights Composers Workshop. We have six brilliant videos of really good composers giving you advice every week to tune your compositions up to incredible detail. But before we get started with really technical advice, I want to get you started. And the best way of getting something started in music is to just start writing something. Now, this is a trick that many composers know to overcome the fear of the blank slate. A blank slate is that moment when you start the screen or a piece of paper and it's just blank and then you don't know where to start. This is common and all composers go through this. But I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to get this started. So tip number one is create a template with the instruments you may want to use. One of the templates you can create is a symphony orchestra. For example, add some uh, woodwinds, add some brass, and the strings. The strings are very important to make the whole piece sound good and sound cohesive. So I always recommend adding violin one, violin two, viola, cello, and double bass. Now when you look at your computer screen, you will see something. It's not just blank. You have a group of instruments with distinctive sounds that you may want to incorporate. Now, after having this template in front of you, what to do? You have so many possibilities, you have so many things you could or could not do. It's really hard to get that first note down in the paper, or in this case, in note flight. We have, we have a couple of ways of going around this. For example, you could write a melody first and then harmonize it with chords. You could write the texture of chords and then put some melodies over it, if you're a person that likes melodies. One example I can give you to get something started with this template would be creating a melody, for example, on a woodwind. Let's say the oboe. So you write your beautiful melody on the oboe. It doesn't need to be very precise at this point. Um, it doesn't need to be incredibly detailed in terms of rhythm. Just something that kind of sounds like what you want to hear. You can tune it later, especially through the workshop, you'll be able to make many changes. Remember, the most important thing in music composition is just getting started. After you start writing, it's like a sculpture. You start with a piece of rock and you start sculpturing it until you reach the shape you want. So what we're doing here today is just writing some notes and getting a piece of rock in your computer. So let's say you have your beautiful oboe, clarinet, French horn line, which is a small, simple melody. Then you can go to the strings, for example, and harmonize it. So you'll have your melody and below it, you can use, for example, whole notes in every instrument, every measure, to create a chord accompaniment. Let's take the first violin, for example, use a note there, second violins, viola, cello, and double bass. Now vertically, you will have a chord and a melody over it. It's starting to sound like something. Then you can change the chord every measure, and I have some progressions. You don't have to really know at this point, if you're not very experienced, what the chords exactly are. What you have to know is that you are happy with the way they sound or they are going in a direction you are pleased with. Remember, throughout this workshop, you will be able to make many changes to your music until it sounds like what you want. So now at this point, we've gone through the sphere of the blank slate, which is having nothing, to having something on your page that you can start refining. I can give you a couple of examples, some very simple, simple examples that you can refine later on after you receive the videos. First, let's think about rhythm. Rhythm can really add a lot to your composition. So, if you have at this point a small melody and the woodwinds or 
brass and just static chords on the strings. You could add some rhythms to the strings. Very easy at this point. Try replacing the whole notes that are going to come up every one measure with just repeating eight notes. So at this moment you should be able to hear eight, eight notes per measure. So instead of just hearing a chord changing into another chord, you'll be able to hear or something like this. Now this is going to sound very simple and very basic, but it's really the the start of something much more complex. You can of course start playing with rhythms and forget the eight notes and start um, selecting more complicated, more interesting rhythms. You can also change the notes. So you can have, uh, for example, the eight notes changing between the fifth and the third of a chord. Now it starts to sound like a film score. You know, and now we're just talking about orchestration. This is what you should be able to explore during this workshop. Overcome the fear and that initial inertia of writing. Writing music is all about getting started and then sculpting your way through the sound. Even if you start with something very basic, something you're not fully happy with, that's perfect because you'll have the chance of refine it and reach the result you want. So, today's video is all about getting started. Start writing some music and have fun with it. Next week, we'll be discussing the first real orchestration and composition tips. Good luck to you. Hi. Hi.